In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. On May 1, 2021, the Catholic Bishops' Conference of the Philippines will consecrate our country under the patronage of St. Joseph. Each day, starting April 22 until April 30, we invite you to reflect on a selected quality of St. Joseph and pray for your intentions and our country. April 22 Reflection St. Joseph, Pillar of the Family And today, we are focusing on St. Joseph as Pillar of the Family. Let me begin my reflection with the pillars. Houses have pillars. Buildings have pillars. Any structure has pillars. Aside from the foundation of the house or any building, pillars play a very important role in the structure. What do pillars do? One, pillars give support. Support on the roof and on the rest of the structure. Just like foundations, if you have strong pillars, you have strong support. That's why we make sure that pillars are good. Secondly, pillars symbolize stability. Katatagan. Hindi lamang ito nagbibigay ng suporta, ito ay nagbibigay ng katatagan. Matatag ang tahanan na ang mga haligi ay matibay. But, take note, my dear sisters and brothers, while pillars give support and stability, pillars are quiet. They don't speak. They don't say a word. But in their silence, they fulfill their task. They fulfill their mission. St. Joseph is pillar of the family, the holy family of Nazareth. What did St. Joseph give to the family, to the family of Jesus, Mary, and Joseph? He gave support. He gave stability. And in fulfilling those support and stability, he was silent. Not a word was uttered by St. Joseph in the Bible. But it did not mean that he did not do anything. He supported the family and he rendered stability in silence. Mga minamahal kong kapatid, sa panahong ito ni San Jose, lumapit tayo sa kanya at hilingin natin na bawat isa sa atin ay maging haligi Haligi ng tahanan, haligi ng anumang samahan, haligi ng pagkakaibigan, haligi ng anumang tamang relasyon. Ang bawat isa sa atin ay inaanyayahang maging katulad ni San Jose na magbigay ng suporta at katatagan, lalo na sa mga tao na nangangailangan ng katatagan, lalo na sa mga tao na pinanghihinaan ng loob. St. Joseph supported the family. St. Joseph provided stability to the family of Jesus Mary and Joseph in Nazareth. He will also give us the support and the stability that we need. The challenge now is to be like St. Joseph. Alam po ninyo, sa panahong ito, lalo na ng pandemyang ating nararanasan, marami ang mga tao na parang nawawala na ng pag-asa. Pinanghihinaan ng loob. Gusto ng bumigay. Parang ang katulad ng mga bahay na parang gusto ng gumuho. 
Let us be like Saint Joseph. Pillars which are stable, supportive, and yet silent. So, this is my prayer for each and every one of us. In this year of Saint Joseph, may we become true pillars. God, our loving Father, you have loved us with an everlasting love. We thank you for expressing your love through Saint Joseph, who, as the pillar of the family, supported and provided Mary and Jesus with what they needed and rendered stability in silence. We ask you to help us grow in our way of loving by becoming true pillars like Saint Joseph, particularly in our family, neighborhood, and other areas of our life. In this pandemic, please help us support one another and be there for people whose faith is dwindling and at the brink of hopelessness. Grant us your wisdom that we may discover how we can help provide stability in their seemingly helpless condition. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Year of Saint Joseph Prayer To you, O blessed Joseph, do we come in our afflictions, and having implored the help of your most holy spouse, we confidently invoke your patronage also. Through that charity which bound you to the Immaculate Virgin Mother of God, and through the paternal love with which you embraced the child Jesus, we humbly beg you graciously to regard the inheritance which Jesus Christ has purchased by His blood, and with your power and strength to aid us in our necessities. O most watchful guardian of the Holy Family, defend the chosen children of Jesus Christ. O most loving Father, ward off from us every contagion of error and corrupting influence. O our most mighty protector, be kind to us and from heaven assist us in our struggle with the power of darkness. As once you rescued the child Jesus from deadly peril, so now protect God's holy church from the snares of the enemy and from all adversity. Shield to each one of us by your constant protection, so that, supported by your example and your aid, we may be able to live piously, to die in holiness, and to obtain eternal happiness in heaven. Amen. Let us pray for our personal intentions. Now, let us pray for our country. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be, forever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <music>